Hello wonderful people, in today's video we're gonna talk about the new trials matchmaking and I'm gonna take this introduction clip because it's a perfect example of the problem with the matchmaking. So as you can see here, I'm a solo player and I'm matching a 3 stack. These guys know what's up, you know, we saw the stat of the other guy, he had the 3.4 KDA, a thousand kills on his Hawk Moon, etc, etc. So they know what's up, this team is stacked to the max. So right away, I know it's going to be a tough match, but I know it's possible. Here I see my teammate is going into the fire team chat, so I'm also switching to the fire team chat to be able to talk with him. Spoiler alert, this guy is not gonna say anything the whole game. Right away, I see the guys are rotating towards C, so I'm telling the guys to come back. Of course, my teammate gets picked. I'm telling the other guy to stay with me. Look at him walking like a bot in the enemy line. He's gonna go down. I'm able to get a pick with the messenger. I'm rotating, protecting Desperado, getting this guy really weak, finishing him with the grenade. I'm in a 1v1. Okay, I got this. This guy is missing his snipe. I'm pushing him with the SMG and the shadow dive. Shadow dive Next into rage quit is a true combo, my friends. Fuck this shit, man. Like, that guy was dead. That guy had no business winning. That guy has no business winning, man. He had no fucking business winning. And he still won the fight. And he still won the fight. Just because of Shadow Dive. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do at this point? I'm getting one guy down. I'm getting two guys down. And the third guy, he, he, he misses his snipe. Then he shadow dies me, that's how he wins the round. Fuck this shit. Hello wonderful people, Valentin here reporting on Trials of Osiris. Nightmare, yes, it was indeed a nightmare. I mean, look at my fucking face, I look tired as fuck. Why was it a nightmare, you ask me? Well, they changed the matchmaking, although in the first week it was really nice because you were facing a variety of skilled opponents. You were facing some really good opponents, people have been flawless multiple times, you were facing newbies who probably never touched Tribes of Osiris and it was their first try. So it was refreshing, you know, sometimes you had sweaty games, sometimes you had less sweaty games, doesn't mean you were winning all of your games because I'm a, most of the time a solo player. Player. So in the solo playlist, I was able to get to five, six, six wins without losing or finishing my seven win card without any problem with as many losses as I want. And I had a great time. So that's one thing to know. It was fun. What did they change this time? This time what they changed is that if you've been flawless, you're only going to match people that have been flawless, right? Is that a problem? Yes and no. It is a great thing to protect people that are not so great, that are, are still struggling to go to seven win without losing, right? To go flawless. So it's great for that purpose. However, for people that have been flawless already, it's a nightmare, especially if you're like me, a solo player. If you're a solo player, well, you're fucked. You're fucked because for some odd reason that I don't really understand, as a solo player, I match three stack all the time. But I'm exaggerating a little bit. Why do I say I exaggerate a little bit? Because I think I had, without lying to you guys, I played from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning, just trying to finish my card of wealth. So not even going flawless, just getting seven wins with as many losses as you can. And you know what? I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. I couldn't do it. I was against three stack armed to the teeth game after game after game after game after game. And for some odd reason, I had some bad games. I had games where I was shitting the bed and I didn't play well. It did happen. I'm not gonna say it's all the time because of my teammate. But most of the time it was because of my teammate. I kept being matched with people that were rocking double primaries that don't make sense together, like a scout rifle and a pulse rifle. So again, I was rocking the Lorenz and a pulse rifle. Uh, it's just like, or most of the time they were rocking double long range option. And it's like, what's going on here? What are you doing? What are you doing? And and the few times where I did was able to clutch around against the three stack, well, I, got, I was getting picked and my two teammates were dead, right? So, yeah, it was such a nightmare. I went to six win with, uh, with a lot of loss. I went on a 10 streak losses and I felt like I was just there to help people go flawless. But if every game, as a solo player, I'm with a team of solos and I'm matching a three stack, 
why aren't the three stacks matching each other and the other people I was supposed to get on my game are going into the next game? Why don't solo match just solo or two stack? Solos should not match three stack. We should not have to deal with this shit because even in the communication department, people were not communicating. People were, I was in game chat all the time. My game chat is going to auto. So every time I'm hopping into a game, I'm hopping into a game, I'm in game chat. I'm saying, oh, watch out, they're at B, they're sniping, blah, blah, blah. They're flanking from A, they are at C, they are in power position, na, na, na. watch out for this guy, two snipe, one shotgun, na, na. no one. And I'm not exaggerating, no one came to the fucking game chat. So if people don't, are not willing to communicate, if I'm going to be matched with two stacks and one stack, I don't know what to tell you. It was really frustrating. I'm not the kind of guy to get angry at video games, but I was pulling my hair out of my head, man. I was screaming. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? Why are they doing this? What is he doing? They're dead again. Na, na, na. I was losing my shit. I was really losing my shit. First time I was losing that much my shit. It was not fun, guys. It was not fun at all. So what I'm gonna do next week, Fuck flawless. I'm not going flawless. I'm just I because I don't really care about going flawless, right? I because my goal again was to get my wealth card finished. I just want to play. I just want to play. But when you are on a ten wins, ten losses streak, who's having fun, man? So yeah, that's my feedback for Bungie. Uh, revert to. The, the exact same thing that happened last week. Last week was great. Everybody had a great time. No one complained. And because even though last week, yes, as a solo player, you did match sometimes three stacks, but most of the time you were matching solos or duos and it was fine. So yeah, keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.